Hi guys, welcome to the Django Walker channel. In this video, I'll be talking to Derek Chong, a contemporary artist and an architect based in London. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to support and also to see my videos. How are you? I'm good. Uh, thank you for taking your time uh, from your busy schedule uh, to see me today. And I, as you know, I am a follower of your Instagram for some time now. And I have seen a series of your painting depicting London uh, public places, landmarks. What are you trying to convey about London? I think uh, London is a fascinating city and sometimes it's very busy and chaotic to me. I like the pattern woven of the pedestrian, a banco, the um, newspaper seller, and also uh, some rough sleeper. Yeah. How big are they, those paintings that, that you have? Um, in my previous year, I tend to do a very large painting, like 90 by 70 centimeter. Yeah. Um, during that time, I was holding a solar exhibition in 20, 2010 yeah. in London called London The Visit. So that time, uh, I was creating a very big painting. But right now, because of, I didn't have a storeroom, right. so I tend to create a small size of the painting. Uh, it's 25 by 30 centimeter okay. because sometimes you know create a big painting you need to have a storeroom uh, how many paintings do you produce roughly in a month or in a week i think in a month i can produce like uh, six paintings you know um, because my style is very detailed yeah, yeah, yeah. when have you started painting london I started to paint London in 2008 and because I was planning to do my solo exhibition in 2010 so yeah. I need to accumulate enough painting, yeah. 20 big painting for the gallery so yeah. that's why I um, uh, started to paint London mm. and uh, I call it um, London The Visit for my solo exhibition. Yeah. So it's all about London scenery. Oh, great. The thing is though, uh, what strikes me also about you and your works is that you are an architect. Architect sketch two-dimensional drawings, and then transform them into three-dimensional structures, dwelling places, public buildings, and so on. But you seem to be undoing and reversing that architecture process by painting them. Was that always the plan or it just happened? I think it just happened um, that way. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah, it's, just like, it's like you can't really run away from your own nature being an architect and artist. You're just yeah. being with the same with the Besides that, I'm just painting for a long time yeah. since, my, yeah. since my childhood. I understood that you have been involved with, uh, as an architect, with many of building projects in London and abroad before. And now that you are busy with your painting and so on, are you still an active architect? Um, at this climate, I don't think I'm very active in this yeah. um, architectural project. Mm. Um, before that, I used to. But I don't think right now is a good, you know, um, climate for the architecture. Yeah. And we have to wait and see. Right, right. That's good. There's a good reason for that. Okay. Um, how would you spend your time in London? In your leisure time in London? In my leisure time, I like to visit a um, gallery. I like to go out to have a nice food to eat yeah um, yeah that's um, sometimes I go for a movie right yeah this is how I'm spending my time 
Yeah, okay. And so, what is your what is your favorite food then? In London. Sorry. What is your favorite What is your favorite food? I think my favorite food is not really, but I like um, seafood and also duck. Yeah, fair enough. Oh yeah, the French duck. They have that on this. It's very yeah, nice. Confit it? duck. Yeah. yeah. For a long time now, right? Uh, the the creators, the art dealers and the galleries play uh, a very important role in supporting the artists, connecting the artists with the art collectors and art enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. Now, since the rises of the uh, social media platform uh, which enable the artists to promote themselves. Do you think this is still the case for the artists? Do we still rely on those art collectors, art dealers and uh, galleries? I think at this pandemic period um, it's always struggle for everyone mm. including the art dealer, artists yeah. and also art creator yeah. because all these our fans already cancelled and postponed, mm. so even the art gallery closed. Right. So the only thing you can do is to put your work online, to promote yeah. your work online. Mm. And not many artists can do that. Mm. Mm. So they have to learn how to um, do the stuff online. Right. How to promote it. Yeah. So. Um, some very old artists, they still need to depend on the uh, gallery to to promote their work yeah. and to um, get connect with the art buyer. Mm. So it's it's about time to change, and I think every artist have to learn how to right. how to promote their. Self promoting, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. the advantage of having a, a social media platforms such as yeah. Instagram, last year, you know, the music and yes. other form of social media. The thing is, uh, what I, li I like to ask you about it from your own perspective is that over the years, uh, the galleries, uh, art dealers, and creators seem to be in favor of only the well established artists. Whereas uh, the emerging artists, as it served, as many more out there, uh, excluded from the mainstream media, how do you think they should change the business model to to make sure there are works for all round artists rather than just the, the established artists? I don't know. I think it depends on them. You know, right. um, we. It's very hard to say they have to change the business model, mm. but. For the artists who want to sell their work, yeah. who want to make it art, make it money, they have to put the effort yeah. to learn how the way how to promote their work online. Mm. Mm. Tell me the truth. What is the ultimate challenge as an artist? You have to hit your head on the wall, and then you realize that there's something mistake. Right. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> you. You need to have a bad experience that you know what's going on. Yeah. To be an artist is it's not easy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, man. Okay. Right, we're gonna ask you very last 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 questions. Suppose you regain your consciousness. Yeah. Then you realize you are standing in the middle of a white canvas, big huge white canvas. Your your your, your left leg is glued to the yellow painting, deep in the yellow painting, and the right one deep in the blue painting. You can only, you can only walk to the left and right or front and back. Suppose you decided to walk to the left after uh, me, uh, 100 meters away, what will you see on the white canvas? I think you will the white canvas will become green color. Green, yeah. Well, <laughs> you notice. Thank you very much. Right, guys. Uh, uh, thank you very much for watching uh, in this video. Um, if you like to know more of Derek Chong's artworks, you can always look at his uh, Instagram. Can you tell them your Instagram again? Yeah, it's Derek Chen Art. 
is D E R I C C H N G A R T. Yeah, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel, and you can also refer to my uh, my Instagram. If you want to see follow my artworks in the Jenga work uh, Instagram, you see a lot of my artwork as well. Thank you very much, Derek.